warm greetings today in this video we are going to discuss about different data structures involved in the python language those are all important as well list data structure tuple data structure dictionary data structure set data structure string data structure let us start with the hands on practices for list data structure list is the one of the important data structure in a python language so this is a jupyter notebook ide is used in order to execute the coding so whenever we wanted to give annotation after typing we need to convert it into heading heading will give in a bold and larger font size or we can give markdown markdown will give a tiny text so what is code is meant for coding the exact syntax and the coding we need to use it in the coding cell so now this is the cell treated it as markdown second cell is uh, treated it as markdown list is a collection of elements it allows both homogeneous data type also it allows heterogeneous data types so what it is let us see uh, subsequently homogeneous is a collection of same data type whereas heterogeneous is collection of different data types that is a difference between the terminology homogeneous and heterogeneous so first let us start with the executing or creating an empty list so sample is equal to square bracket whenever in python we come to see square bracket that is the indication of list data structure are involved so sample equal to square bracket that is empty list so the same sample is created with list of element 102134 so now we are trying to print the sample list so it gives the output 102134 and 4 now next question is it necessary to create list with a empty square bracket subsequently like this not at all directly we can assign list of elements to the sample all the list of elements to be enclosed within the square bracket that is a only constraint subsequently it will start creating the list automatically no need to create this empty list but the feature is available so in order to understand what are all the features available with the list data structure i am mentioning about this subsequently how to print the list of elements or a list so sample is a list we have created right now so the same sample how to create print it so now just we need to mention the name of the list it prints all the elements associated with the list sample is element list consists of 10 21 3 4 there are four elements associated that four are printed here other way we can use the print function using this we can print the list of elements associated with the list sample sample is termed as a list now subsequently we are moving to so far now the list which we have discussed named the sample is a homogeneous data type because all the elements which we used in this are of integer data type now we are going to look at mixed data type heterogeneous type of list list 1 is created with physics and chemistry if we look at this is called string when it comes computer language it is termed as string 1997 2000 these two are related to integer so now list 1 is created with a string data type also an integer data type mixed data type now so this is the indication that list permits both the collection of same uh, data type or collection of mixed data types list 2 list 2 is again homogeneous type there are two lists we have created now now let us execute this cell so list 1 consists of these four element list 2 consists of these are all the elements let us see the next uh, operation associated with an list accessing an item how to access an item item in the sense a single element what exactly we want to print for example list 1 of 0 this is the indication we wanted to print the zeroth element what is the meaning of zeroth element is this is called commentary statement hash the moment we put it is treated as a commentary statement so here indexing i wanted to explain here indexing 
starts with a zero and so on with an list so what that signifies physics the index value is zero chemistry the index value is one 1997 the index value is two 2000 the index value is three so this is how element can be accessed each and every element can be accessed using index index value now list of zero we want to mention the first index value every list the index value starts with a zero so that list one of zero we are mentioning here this is yeah this is called annotation just we want to annotate something print off within double quotation we are mentioning printing the first element of list one of zero let us execute this so it says whatever we mentioned in the annotation part and it prints along with that list one of zeroth element. In the list one, the zeroth element is physics. So that we are getting physics as an output. Now we want to deal with range of indexes. Range of indexes we can mention using slicing of operator. Let us see. 2 to 7, I wanted to print with a list 2. List 2, 11th, the element 11th is indicated by the index value 0, then index value 1, index value 2, index value 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is what the available index values with the list 2. Now we are mentioning using the slicing operator index number 2 to 7. So index number 2 is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we want to print the elements between the index value 2 to 7. So it prints 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We can mention any value related to this indexes. If you look at the annotation is wrong, 1 to 5, here I suppose to change it as 2 to 7. Annotation only wrong, 2 to 7. Let us see 1 to 5 now. So the same, the annotation value, let me give in the syntax, 1 to 5. Now let us execute again. So list 2 to 7 is this, list 1 to 5 is this, 21, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it prints the values 21 to 6. So how it prints 7, look at here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So always it takes the last index value minus one. So here we have mentioned seven. We are getting the value up to six. So 17 is printed. So it starts with zero list. The slicing operator starts with zero and ends with minus one. For, for example, two to seven we are mentioning second position our index value 2 it starts 7 if we mention it will print the previous element for example if i change this as 8 here as well 8 now we can able to get the last element 55 earlier it was printing up to 7 now we can get the last element 55 as well because the slicing operator the last value always minus 1. It prints up to minus 1. Whatever the value we mention in that position, minus 1. Up to that, the index values are considered. Let us consider the second one, 1 to 5. So now, the element 1, it will start, it will end up by 4, up to 4. So 1 is 21, 2, 3, 4. It ends with the fourth position or index value 4. So that we are getting 21, 3, 4, 5. Now how to find out the length of the list using len function, len of list 1. Hope so you would be remembering list 1 consists of 4 elements, whereas list 2 consists of 8 elements. Let us change this with the list name to let us execute. So 8 elements. Length is a function useful for finding length of the list. How to add an item into an existing list? List one dot append of mathematics. So this is the value we want to 
append append in the sense insert or add it will uh, always it will insert at the end of the list now let us execute this so list 1 we are going to print earlier we have seen four elements physics chemistry 1997 2000 now we are appending uh, that seems that that means adding an element mathematics is added at the end of the list next operation is associated with deletion so that one of the operation is pop so pop is operation it is useful for deletion it will inform the list which it is targeting to delete so the last element of the list is always deleted using the function pop now let us print list 1 so we inserted new element mathematics immediately or subsequently we have deleted the element which is available at the end of the list now after the pop operation the rest of the list elements of physics chemistry 1997 next inserting an element at the designated position how to insert an element by telling the index value if you look at new list this is a list consist of two element there are two elements involved in this list english and the science let us execute this english and science now we are going to insert a new element at the position 1 or at the at an index value 1 so english the index value associated is 0 science the index value associated is 1 now we are going to print this so now the first position is inserted with an element social science and second position is moved the existing science is moved to the second position so this is zeroth position first position second position or index value 0 1 and 2 now how to clear the list complete uh, the list we want to reset or clear completely so for that we can use the function called clear so new list now just now we have seen new list consist of two element then we started inserting depending upon the index value so in this show science and the science we have got now we are trying to clear now new list doesn't have any element so new list completely deleted now list copy how to take a copy new list equal to list1 dot copy new list let us see. now new list just now we made it to be empty so now it became empty after the emptiness now we are creating a copy whatever is available with list1 we are trying to create a copy into new list new list is equal to this list extend how we can extend the list two different list we can extend one after another so that is the purpose of list extend list1 dot extend of list2 whatever is available with the list 1 subsequently we are extending the list 2 next sorting operation list 1 dot sort if we look at list 1 dot sort it reports with an error what is a error report we are getting not supported between instances of integer and string if we look at the list 1 it is a collection of strings and an integers so it won't allow us to do sorting operation that simply it signifies that if it is mixed data type between strings and numerical it won't allow so either it should become string or it should become numerical <clears throat> now let us do the sorting operation upon list 2 now let us print list 2 yes it prints 3 4 5 6 11 17 21 55 <laughs> if we look at list 2 before sorting what it was there in the list 2 3 4 5 6 17 55 this was there with the list 2 now after sorting it prints in the order ascending order smallest to largest element next run sample sort 3 4 11 21 sample earlier what are all the element it was there let us go back and visit sample sample consist of 10 21 3 4 the order is entirely messed up different order now after sorting we can notice that 3 4 10 21 21 smallest to largest order it is maintaining next how to find an index sample dot index of specifying an element it produces the appropriate index value 
if we look at sample is the list we are considering there are four elements available here we want to know index value of an element 21 so we are mentioning 21 with its function sample dot index of 21 so it produces three that is the output indicates the index value of the specified element if we look at any list we have seen just recently the first element index value is zero then one two, three. So it produces three. Now, the next function, what we are going to discuss is count. So let us execute this, then understand. Count of two, what is the element we are mentioning here? Upon that, it will start counting. If we look at list two, list two, there is no element called two. So it produces zero. Let us give count of 3. 3 is available. Run. 1. If you look at the list 2, the number of times the given element 3, how many times it is available in simple terms? It is available only one time so that it produces 1. Suppose in a same list, multiple times 3 is available, then it will start counting all the instances of 3, then it produces the count. Another question you can ask, will it repeat or will it allow, list will it allow same element multiple times? Yes, we can create list with multiple times. For example, let us see that sample A is a list I am creating 7, 7, 8, 9, 7, 90 close. A is the name of the list. Let us execute. Then let us insert a new cell a dot count of. There is no error. Now let us see the count of 7. Execute 3. There are 3 times 7 exists in this list so that it produces an output 3. Update. How we can change the core property of list is mutable. So that is a very uh, core property. Mutable in the sense it will allow us to update at any point of time the values. So mutable is a property of a list. So list allows for updation. For example, list 2. List 2 of 3 equal to 2000. Let us display what is available in the list 2. This is what the present available uh, list of elements. So now we are updating third position with the 2000. 0, 1, 2, 3. Instead of 6, we wanted to insert or update 2000. We want to replace that 6 by 2000. Let us see now. Execute. Now, sorry, execute. Then we need to execute. Excel. Now, third position is execute, replaced by 2000. So these are all the properties associated with our operations associated with list data structure. In the subsequent session, we will be discussing hands-on for tuple, dictionary, set and string. Thank you for watching.